Do you assume your addicted loved one is incapable? Do you assume that they are not part of the solution? That's what we're here to talk about today um, in our positive communication series. I'm Tanya. I'm an instructor for CRAFT, which is a a program that gets folks helps gets folks sober and works with the families who are supporting and are the experts on their lives and the addicted loved one's life. As we jump into this, let's talk about what you assume when you go in to talk with your addicted loved one. Often we assume that they are incapable of solving their problem because they would have already if they were capable of doing it. That puts them in a category of not being a valuable resource. So that's the first thing. The addicted loved one is a valuable resource on their own lives. And when you come at it like that and get curious about what the resistance is. So one, they're a valuable resource. Two, the resistance is there for a reason. There's a reason why they're pushing it back against your trying to connect and communicate with them. What is that? That's the next step is to get curious about that. Are they afraid of being vulnerable? Are they afraid of truly connecting with you? Have they been seriously hurt when they've connected with people? Is there some old history you need to clear out? There's a dozen things that could be happening. Coming at them, which is the wrong verbiage, but talking with them and believing that they are valuable is the first step. Then it's about getting curious about what the resistance is. So we're talking about this in a different way, but the other piece is let's think about how hopeless they feel, how stuck they feel. Part of your role as the loved one um, of the addict is to continue to show hope, to believe that they are capable, to believe that they are valuable, to believe that people can change. So our intention with the positive communication and connecting with your loved one and continual small connections is to show this shift, to show that this shift is possible and that hope is still there. So this is just a small piece for you to work on in our positive communication series. And that is looking at your loved one as capable, as valuable, as someone who needs to make a shift. We all have that in our lives, whether we're trying to lose weight, get a promotion, um, figure out the next uh, step with our child or our addicted loved one, our spouse, each thing that we are trying to shift takes changing the mind and seeing ourselves as valuable and the shift is valuable.